Hey, that's a lot. This is how I live my life, Jenny. No, I'm aware that's what I'm trying to help you. That's not this even going to be enjoyable. This is the amount I like, Jenny. This is my... Okay, this. dude. Give it's me perfect. Mm. Oh. Phil. Okay, I'm not mad. I'm pretty disappointed in you, though. Sam, can you get the studio ready? I have a video to make. You're still eating it. Nice things. I have to make a whole new video right now. Stains happen. They shouldn't, but they do. But can DTF survive these stains? And more importantly, the stain removers? Let's find out together. For this test, we press a DTF graphic onto a few 100% cotton shirts. Then we stain the shirts with ketchup and mustard, coffee, and berries, and let them sit for about 30 minutes. To remove the stains, we used a tie to go pin on the first shirt, OxyClean on the second, and Clorox bleach on the third. Then we ran the shirts through the washing machine and waited to see the results. All right, Phil, so we stained and washed all three of these shirts. What are you seeing here? I'm definitely seeing results. Okay, so we did do a control shirt. That way we can look at a non-washed, non-stained shirt and see what the difference was. But already I'm seeing that we've got some problems with Tide over here. You can still see some of that mustard that came through. Yeah. You can definitely see the berries, the blueberries left a stain there. Here. Yeah, and then also like, I'm still also seeing the stain on the actual grays of mm -hmm. the of the tide here. It looks like it just spread that mustard into it. And I'm not seeing that on the other two. On the OxyClean, it didn't do well with the berries. There's still a little bit of uh, yellow from the mustard here, but the coffee seemed to came out, well, I don't know. It kind of came out okay, but it's still dingy. Yeah, dingy is the word I It's just overall for. dingy. You can't really tell where the stain was. It's just dingy. Mm. The bleach, however, it, I'm not really seeing anywhere where the stain was. Mm -hmm. Like it did a really good job, which is this is what it's supposed to do. You wash a white shirt and bleach, it takes basically everything out. The thing I'm really surprised about, and I shouldn't be, is that the DTF really held up. Like I'm seeing on um, a little bit on the Oxy, but more so on this one, you see how like the white is peeling up right there? Like I think the Tide pen, because of the actual scrubbing motion, maybe that got some of that Tide stuff underneath where the adhesive is. But bleach overall, like this looks pretty good. The only thing that I'm seeing right off the bat is there is some pilling in here and that's just the shirt being degraded by the bleach. Mm -hmm. But overall, this looks really good. Let's take a look with the control. Wow. I mean, they're pretty close. Like the, the blacks, I, I would say the only thing if you can see here, it's still pretty dark and this is just maybe a tiny shade lighter. So overall, maybe everything went up like just a single, you know, small percentile change lighter but overall the colors are still there. I really thought that we were gonna lose some color in this. I did too, honestly, especially with how harsh bleach is. I mean, the fabric itself really took a beating. But... And the DTF is still, honestly, the DTF also feels softer. This feels a lot more like a screen print now than straight off of the, the press. This is uh, full underbase. I didn't do any variable wide underbase on this. I wanted to do really test and see like what was gonna happen to the underbase, what was gonna happen to the ink. And yeah, it's actually softened up. Maybe we try softening shirts with bleach. But I also, you know what I really wanna know? I wanna know which color of these is gonna fade first. Like if we just soak this in bleach, would one color fade faster than the other or are they all gonna fade together? I feel like maybe the reds would be the last to go because that red is typically such like a strong pigment. But I don't know, the fact that even our blacks have hardly faded, I really don't see any of these fading first because even our whites i don't know if you can see this but on the bleach shirt the whitest square is actually whiter than our shirt even now yeah, you're right so, i didn't notice that before oh my god i think we've kept our color great here what do you and think I'm really surprised i mean tell us in the comments if you think we should give this a, a good old try and the college try and see if we can actually get this stuff to fade let us know below and we'll definitely make that video for you yeah how many washes to get to the center how many washes to the center of the dtf print yeah <laughs> 
I'm here for it. Yeah. I say we do it, but we need their permission yeah. first. Yeah, let us know what you guys think. And as always, if you have any ideas for any videos or any questions you'd like answered, please leave a comment. And if we use it, we'll feature it in the video too. And. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Bye.